So Pro Tools 12.3, this is hot on the heels of Pro Tools 12.1, Pro Tools 12.2, Pro Tools 12.3 announced today and available next week comes with some really anticipated uh, workflows. Things like commit track workflows. Um, also we've updated the, the editing so that when you are visually spotting clips or regions mm -hmm. and you're moving them, you retain the waveform overview so it's much easier to position, especially when you're using visual indicators on the waveform itself. Sure. And those uh, those waveforms they persist even when you're covering when you're overlapping over another region. So it has a transparency effect. Okay. So calling calling it like a clip transparency, mm -hmm. but very very elegant. Especially like I said, if you're spotting a uh, region or a clip and a, you're using a visual indicator on the waveform mm -hmm. and you want to spot it to something underneath. Very very nice. You also have um, the fades. Uh, workflows have been completely updated as well. So the fades uh, workflow now is much more automated than ever before. Um, we have a batch fades uh, editor that allows you to set presets for fade in, fade out, as well as cross fade, and okay. presets within that so you can quickly recall, uh, because that can be something that's extremely time consuming, mm -hmm. um, especially for um, for audio post production, where you have a, a number of tracks and you have a lot of little edits and clips, uh, but certainly for music production as well. Yeah. Um, so in context, then, if, if you'd used Beat Detective or something like that, and you sliced everything up, and you had a bunch of different regions, and you wanted to change the length of the fade on each one, you could do that just with a, a click. You can you could absolutely do that. You could set the specific crossfade uh, slopes and lengths different from the fade in, fr different from the fade out, and like I said, have presets for all all of those as well. Okay, great. Yeah, so it really speeds that. And, you know, it kind of automates those those kind of mundane things that you don't necessarily need. They're not necessarily creative tasks. You want to kind of accelerate that stuff. Same thing with the editing. When you're spotting something, you want to kind of excel, you want to speed up those things that maybe are mundane um, so you can get on and focus to the really important creative stuff. Cool, okay. Um, but the commit workflows are something that are really, really fantastic. This is the first step towards, let's say, a full freeze uh, track workflow. But the, the way that we've implemented uh, commit is very, very elegant, very, very thought through. So for instance, um, very, very common for uh, people to have virtual instruments that are CPU hogs. Sure. Uh, yeah. They're RAM hogs, they're CPU hogs. Um, and also, also oftentimes they're going to want to take it to the next stage, maybe give it to somebody to mix. Uh, and the mixer may not have those plugins. So you have this issue, like, well, how do, you, how do you get it to that next stage? How do you maybe take some of the CPU load off the computer so that you can, get, you can have a more uh, fluid mixing experience? Well, it's very easy now to go to that plugin and say, freeze, ev freeze everything before this plugin. So right, that way okay. you freeze only the tracks that are um, the virtual instrument tracks, the really intense uh, CPU intensive uh, plugins, everything else can be kept completely real time. Um, okay. They, and you have the ability to, after you've done the commit track, it can make the other tracks inactive for you, hide them automatically, delete them automatically, leave them where they are. You have a lot of really nice options. Plus, right. it retains all of the um, all of the routing, all of the sends, all of the automation. So you can print automation, or you can or you can uh, leave it live. So it's really an immense amount of flexibility in the commit uh, track feature. And um, as we're showing here in the freeze track uh, capabilities that we're showing as a tech preview, same thing, an enormous amount of flexibility to um, keep all your routing, keep your VCA groups, even though you know, you're potentially, after you're committing, you're, 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 you're removing those and taking those, it mimics all of those uh, settings on right, the new okay. channels. Great. So how much is uh, Pro Tools 12.3 going to cost then? So, a couple months ago, we announced that uh, for people buying Pro Tools new, we have a new low price of $599. That's a perpetual license that lasts forever. It also comes with uh, an all-access upgrade and support plan, which uh, essentially gives you the next 12 months of plug of upgrades included. Mm -hmm. So anything that comes out in the next for the next year, you get that as a free upgrade. Um, it also comes with uh, a whole bundle of plugins that last for the year that are active during your upgrade plan. Now, anybody that has Pro Tools 12 today is on one of these upgrade plans. Um, depending on when you bought it, that, that upgrade plan will, you know, was, was a year long and it will be expiring you know, at, at when, when that's done. But all those Pro Tools 12 customers today are, get this uh, as an entitlement and it comes included with their upgrade plan. For anybody that's on Pro Tools 11 or earlier, yeah. they can jump to the latest version as an upgrade and also get a 12-month annual upgrade plan 
and support plan and the plugins, all for $199. So they're jumping all, it can jump from, let's say version nine all the way to version 12, plus get the next year of upgrades included. So that's a perpetual license then for the upgrade? Is that's for all of, all, anyone who owns a perpetual license for Pro Tools, exactly. Okay. And what's even better, if you're, only, uh, if you're only one version back on Pro Tools 11, you can get the upgrade plan for just $99, get to 12, and get those next 12 months for free. Okay. Cool. And year, the annual renewal for that is only $99 a year. So you're ensured to always stay on the latest version of Pro Tools software and get the latest innovations um, for only 99 bucks a year. Cool, and um, that's coming out in a week, you say? Be shipping next week. Brilliant, great. Yeah, go Thanks, to avid.com. Cheers. Yeah, thank you.